Hey all, Binks here, and we have an awesome new tech card in Marvel Snap, and that is Red Guardian. Red Guardian is a 3 power with on reveal, afflict the lowest power enemy card here with minus two power and remove its text. So overall, I think that this is going to be a very meta dependent card. If there's a lot of Dracula and like small things that you really want to delete, like, you know, things like Iron Man, it's going to be really, really strong. Uh, but what's really cool, about, like outside of Super Scroll, which is another like kind of tech card that's focused on things, is that you're usually getting three, five in stats at the very minimum, even if removing the text isn't that valuable. So I think that this card is very strong. It can fit into a lot of decks, especially if the meta calls for it. And the deck that I like to highlight it in is called the Power Melter. Uh, I played a very similar deck on stream and never made it into a video, uh, but the goal of this deck is to just really try and delete our opponent's power. Uh, we have things like Scorpion to hit their hand, Hazmat to hit the whole board, uh, the new Red Guardian, you, you know, while like deleting the text is really good, it also afflicts the enemy card, so it's going to give us more discounts on our high Evo Abomination to get it really, really cheap. Uh, we have Man Thing in here. We have Luke Cage to protect our own cards. Uh, the Cyclops in here as well. Uh, Wasp is really nice to just kind of sneak in on a turn to, to hit one more uh, to, to kind of like tick our Abomination down just barely enough. And then the thing I think is really great, being able to hit three cards with minus one power uh, is, is a super powerful ability. Uh, Rogue is in here. I think the Rogue is a wonderful tech card. So we have all these different options to kind of mess with our opponent's ongoing stuff, uh, either with Rogue or with the Red Guardian. Uh, so really, really solid deck we went about 500 on it we got some awesome highlights that i hope that you're gonna enjoy and i hope that you enjoy your brand new red guardian as always if you're enjoying this content make sure to hit the like button check down below make sure you subscribe catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays enjoy you peace commando welcome to the stream i believe i played them earlier i do not remember what they're playing that's the third savage land left i've gotten maybe it's a hot location i just don't remember <laughs> it's a good red guardian target Uh, we just pass here. Strong guy. You, you are of no use to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, we probably just play Luke on curve. Middle gives us some chances to uh, take Pryo. We don't really want to take Pryo, actually, right? Put Luke Cage right. Got for me. I Cyclops! I wanted that. It's a good card. Um, this turn's pretty likely Brood. This is a nice, um, Azmat Scorpion turn. I don't know if I want to go left. I might want to do some Wasp stuff there. Just do this. Uh, order, just in case they get rid of my Luke. I just did the exact same order. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, no Mobius, we get a free, or damn close to free A-bomb. Maybe, probably free, right? Because they probably play something. Warping their whole hand is really strong. Uh, glad man thing left goes kind of crazy. Do I play this abomination in case of Mobius? I think we do. We also want to be ahead so we can rogue their Wong if they go Wongers here. Let's just think about all the possibilities. Could be like Brood Wongs or Brood Surf or something. 3-3 three, three Wasp is, is gonna be our strongest play. Actually, Red Guardian middle is kind of enticing. Stops their Nova from going off, which could be pretty powerful. I'm gonna kill all my ones. It's actually gonna gain plus like minus four here. That's actually pretty valuable. Actually, might be in quite a bit of trouble left. But this is gonna give us more points than playing Red Guardian left over strong guy, I think. We'll just hope we can win right. It's gonna be close. See if turning off their Nova was the was the difference. Holy! 
It cost them four points right. Murder World. I really know what I'm playing on Curve. None of these are ideal. I kind of want to play a Wasp alongside of it, though, to stop Red Guardian if my opponent has access to it. Priority flip. I want them to have it. Not a huge deal. A bit annoying, but manageable. Opponent snapped. It's fine. Their tribunal combo, we have, we have some plays around him. Do this. Uh, we have Pryo, which is a little annoying, but um, maybe we'd still want to like Hazmat Scorpion. It can't be a Hella. I wonder what this plan is here. Maybe it's like a task. The mystery intrigues me. Most total power is this. No living tribunal for you. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Play rogue. You'll be happy you did. my mighty hand. It's clobbering time. You'll be happy you played Rogue Chat. I am Iron Man. Victory. Uh, I want a Sentinel. I play it next turn. I'd f around and play a Sentinel next turn. You never know. Okay, get a look at their deck. Odin. All right. Ramp most likely or. Ramp is kind of likely, or like uh, that Surfer Odin deck, but looking at pass turn one, pass turn two, probably ramp, uh, if I had to guess. Elysium makes things really funky, okay? If I was the opponent, I'm a ramp deck. I'm never playing on Orcus Forge, because I'm usually just playing one card here. Could be Wave. Probably contest this. Uh, let's get the Sentinel out, you know, like the, the two, the power that we could potentially get is, is worse than just the three we can guarantee. You have to be on the lookout for Sandman. Okay. Minions to me. Not too shabby. It's actually kind of fine. Uh, we will take the one power here. Maybe we still don't for Sentinel. Yeah, the potential to get some um, Abomination triggers I think is too strong. We, we do have to play out on five though. They were hoping that didn't hit Odin, I'm sure. We're gonna play out our hand. Kind of like Odin, right? Odin, right? Kind of goes hard. Okay, Sandman was expected. Really nice that we played around it well. Getting ahead in two lanes. Are ye worthy? And getting ahead by more than five in two lanes is so good against Doom. Just remember, anytime you're playing any rampy type list, just expect same man on five. It's so, so important. Um, how could they win here? I'm not sure. Most power is Luke left, so we just take that. We at least tie left with the Cyclops trigger. They know they can't doom, 
So they probably just play big card middle or right, and this should should get it. I think the tie and already being up by 15 total right should be enough, especially with the Misty Knight trigger. Very well played around Sandman, though. I, I think that that's so important whenever you're playing against ramp decks now. Uh, any of these Hella decks will almost always carry it. Still just a really powerful play on five, so just make sure you burst out your hand. Very nice. The Odin, the Odin uh, thing combination was kind of kind of nasty too. It was kind of nasty. GG's. The throne room. My strong Misty Knight. How strong she is. Okay. Guess is brood. Go scorp. They go brood right. We can actually just contest it. Hmm. Probably not worth the big Zemo. It's not a wasp. What was that? Let's go left with the Cyclops. They'll, they'll eventually play some cards there. The Red Guardian. A little annoying, but nothing we can't handle. Why is this triggering multiple times? It's freaking me out. Uh, we won the priority flip again, man. We gotta stop winning these. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, we do get the loot cage down. We'll, we'll miss a hit on this, but that's fine. We need to fight for one lane though, so I think we push everything left, and then A-bomb should win middle by itself. The only problem is gonna be, um... our guy's name uh, the Giga Chad the Giga Chad man I think we should be fine though like a bomb middle main thing left I, th I think should just secure Shaw Shaw could be an issue if they get two triggers on it they already used absorbing man so we should be fine they probably retreat if they're like a hazmat version. I don't know how they're getting around this. Maybe they have Rouge and they're going to try and Rouge me. That could work. I don't think they're getting more than 10. They could also have Sean. I don't think Shang-Chi would even win, right? Yeah, single shot trigger is not going to be enough. Not going to be enough to get over my A-bomb. Very solid game. This is a good matchup against Surfer, I think. Scorpions and like Hazmats against Brood are, are just really strong. Some of them run Luke, but as long as they don't run Luke, you're gonna be in a good spot. Fiery Ben! Welcome to the stream, welcome, welcome. Uh, this car's pretty bad for us, but... What are you gonna do? It's clobbering time! Eh, three, four, six isn't the worst thing in the world. Enjoy my cards, you piece. I didn't put my new high evolutionary in yet. The Luke Cage. Um, Luke Cage get my Red Guardian right now, which would really suck. A red guardian can have my Luke Cage if they have it, but this is my Cyclops, right? Ambit! My Luke! 
I have a misplayed order. Uh, we'll try this. We can save the wasp for the final turn. Go for it. Probably lose. Probably just have some big thing they can play middle. Doom rules all. That thing. Oh, we're gonna win. <laughs> Even after the misplays. Even after the misplays, we somehow get through there. Interesting game. GG Spire Even. Cruel! Welcome to the stream, Cruel. Best of luck to you. Thing. Got hand. What you got in there. What you got in there, buddy. Doctor Pogtopus. Let's get him out of Shang Chi range. Ooh, nice juicy five card hand. The scorpion. I think we just get the loop down here in case they have my red guardian for protection. Um, let's go right. Even though they don't have cards there, I think they'll play cards there. So right, incorrect. Get a little pew. You tell him, Red Guardian. It would be really funny if, uh, because Red Guardian silenced Gladiator, it wouldn't work. It'd be a funny joke. Let's go Doc Ock left. They might do the same thing. Except ours has 10 power and theirs has 9. Which is very relevant. We're gonna snap. Nice. They were scared. They knew the doctor was in. Will they play off the raptor lane here? They do not. Okay. Try this. Ah, they got a free Mockingbird trigger. Dude, we've been losing 50 50 Sakar flips like, like it's our dang job, man. Uh, I think we just get a Hazmat to get a free Abomination next turn. Pretty nice, clean play. Meow. Reset their kitty a little bit. I think we want a rogue, Nothing in particular. I think A-Bomb makes a lot of sense left. Red Guardian Sentinel, maybe? You should have anything that can beat this. Oh, snap. 
Snap. Doc Ock Middle is pretty likely for them. Victory. I somehow, some way, this is shredding up mill decks. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it's intentional or what, but uh, we take those. Ooh, Sir Stizzy, front of the show. Probably also as Red Guardian, I would imagine, a fellow content creator. Tour system's great for us. Monster Island's kind of whatever. That Guardian, let's get that monster buffed up. They have Shang-Chi, obviously we're in a bit of a disadvantage. Birds of a feather flock together, as they say. Uh, we can just Red Guardian that. Works really cleanly. Stop them from getting any more triggers. Obviously, there's higher value stuff that we could get, but... Um, we didn't have to rush, I don't think. Jesus Christ. I'm so happy I can't accidentally do that anymore. Uh, let's just steal their Luke and Snap. Snap! You have the extra tech, might as well use it. Big flip. Uh, what's really nice about Man Thing Left is that if they have their own rogue, it's now a 50 50. You peace. I have to go all in on one lane. I think right is the lane to do it. Uh, left should. Ooh. Yeah, that'll get us. And only by one, two. Oh, what about, well played Sir Stizzy, that was tough, man. One point. I guess we had to split push. GG's though, very well played, fun beer. Thanks. Thanks.